This is question number 27. It says the histogram shows information about the times in minutes that some passengers had to wait at an airport. So you've got the frequency density and the time in minutes. We're asked to work out the percentage of the passengers who had to wait for more than one hour. The question carries three marks. I can find the frequency by multiplying frequency density by class width. So the frequency will be the frequency density multiplied by the class width. So let's go ahead and work out a value for each of these bars. We can see the class width is 20, the frequency density is 12, so I'm going to have 12 multiplied by 20, which is going to give me 240 people. If we look at the next one, this looks to be 10.8, so we're going to have 10.8 multiplied by the class width, which is going to be 10, so let's put this in. So 10.8 times by 10 is going to give me 108. If we look at the next one, we've got 7 and 7 times by 15. So 7 times by 15. 7 times by 15 is going to give me 105. The next one looks to be bang on 5. 5 times by 15. So 5 times by 15 will give me 75. If we look at the next one, this is going to be 1.8 and the width is 30, 1.8 times by 30 is going to give me 54. If I look at this one, this is 30 and we got 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times by 30 is going to give me 18. So if we add all of these up now, I'm just going to write them out. We have 240, so let's write this out. We got 240 plus 108 plus 105, plus now 75, plus 54, plus 18. I'm now going to look at those people who waited for more than one hour. So there's one hour, and we've got 54 and 18. So I'm going to have in the numerator 54 plus 18, and we're going to multiply the answer by 100. So we've got 72 of the total amount of people, and we multiply our answer by 100. So in the calculator, let's go ahead and do that. So 72 of them had to wait more than an hour. And in total, let's just add this up. So 348, just adding these two, plus now 180, adding those two, and then plus now the 70, uh, what we're going to get on that one, the 72, and then we'll multiply this by 100. So if we do that, that's going to give us 12. So we can say now that this is going to be 12%. So that's my final answer, exactly 12%. I've simply worked out how many people each bar represented. I've added them all up, and then I've taken the number who had to wait more than an hour, divided it by the quantity, and times it by 100. So for three marks, final answer is 12%.